Good morning, good morning on this fine Monday. Motivated Monday. Motivated Monday. I like it. You know, the, what's the old song? Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. Not this time. Well, it depends on what kind of rain you're talking about, <laughs> right? Is it that fresh rain in the midst of rain Come that you're on. asking for? Motivated Monday. Monday. We pray that uh, this finds you well and that your household is well, that you're encouraged in the Lord. Amen. Uh, coming out of Sunday, and um, you know, we we had <clears throat> we we always do. We always come in Monday and go. We had a powerful service, and the truth of the matter is, man, God is showing He's doing Himself. Something, yeah so mighty fresh and new and so powerful and here's the thing none of us have an excuse in this season to uh, be starving right. now he and of the word of god because there listen there are very trusted uh ministers and preachers that are preaching the word like we haven't seen absolutely in a long time. absolutely here's what you're starving for and it it, it is the point of connection right any two touching and, and agreeing, agreeing. Yes. and and that's what we're longing for um, in the body of Christ because literally it feels like at times our hands have been cut off and right, right. or the the feet. But listen, rest assured, we are still moving. We yes. are still connecting. Yes. And while we may not be able to physically touch, although yet that kind of has not registered in my mind yet. If I feel, right. if I'm around somebody and I feel the Lord say, pray for them, I can't Absolutely. help but grab Absolutely, right, them. right. So um, I'm it's trying. It's a part of your DNA for sure. And I'm trying to heed mm -hmm. to the rules, but I cannot help when the Lord puts an unction right. uh, to to touch and agree with someone. I, I can't help well, it. Well, it's hard, it's hard not to when uh, your leader is patterned that way and yeah. and you know we fully trust and believe I trust the Lord every single word that's in this book yes sir and when you're under that that leading of the spirit um, it's it's literally like in that moment th there's no limitation that's right you know there's nothing between you and 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 the answer mm, and so I love that mm -hmm. nothing between you and the answer. Mm -hmm. So listen, we're not we're not long for this. Uh, it's uh, lifting, and they're lifting in phases. And so while we're still not completely released uh, by law to um, congregate over a certain number, my prayer and what we're fasting, uh, part of what we're fasting for. And if you're fasting with us, let us know. We right. we started a fast last week, uh, last Tuesday, the Lord uh, commissioned us to call a fast. It, we were 40 days um, until Pentecost. Yes, now we're at what, 30? Is it close uh -uh. to 30? I think it's 30, 30 Y'all days. Y'all do the math. That was never my, my skill set. Something like that. Um, yeah. it's, it's interesting though, because you know, the Jewish uh, festivals, we really uh, honed in on that when mm -hmm. we moved uh, to San Antonio, sure. we begin to here, you know, the Feast of Tabernacles, the Passover, and then Pentecost. Yeah. And uh, Pentecost was the 50 50th days, day. 50 days after, after Sabbat. Passover. Right. After Passover, 50 days after. And the Sabbath, yeah. You know, the, the truth of the matter is now, you know, and until, you know, I, I faithfully started preaching. When I first started preaching the Word, and that's been buku years ago, you know, I, I kind of read my Bible. I tried to start in Genesis when I first, you know, started passionately pursuing the Lord. Right. And um, I, I read through and I love most of those stories, but you start getting into the feast and right. then you get into Leviticus and, and all of this, you can very quickly get lost and sure, sidetracked. Sure. And so I feel like when you know, we went with Pastor Hagee and learning more of the Jewish custom right. and, and knowing that the Lord's covenant right. um, does not change That's with right. His people. And um, now understanding, I don't know why we're getting off this, but we are. Romans 11, we say that every day. <laughs> I don't know where this is coming from, but 
you know, Romans 11, that we have been engrafted, right. that he cut off his branch so that we could become a part of his inheritance. Right, right. And um, how much more can he uh, re-engraft his people? Amen. So um, I'm not ignorant to believe, and we truly um, obtained a love oh, for absolutely. the Jewish people and their culture and their food. Yes. And um, we've, we've been to Israel three times. Yes. And we hope we hope to go back at some point. And um, the Lord, the Lord is crazy. We were, you know, asked to go this year, and it just did not settle. Well, that trip got canceled, right. and we understand now, mm -hmm. you know, why why the Lord would not release us sure. to go. But right. um, there is something powerful about Israel, mm -hmm. and there's something powerful about uh, the Jewish people. And listen, there's a great move of God right. that's not just coming to the United States. Oh, absolutely. It's not just coming to your city. It's not just coming to Nashville, Hendersonville <laughs> area. It is going to pour out and yeah. cover the globe Yes. because there will be an appeal for a harvest of souls. Amen. And... Um, before we before we complete, I don't even know where this is leading, but you know there is. Um, we preach a message that it is His will that all would come to repentance, and that's His heart, and right. that is His desire. Yes. Um, it's hard though for a generation today to believe right. that there's a hell. Right. And that there is a great divide and right. a separation. It's right. hard for people to believe that. And, you know, we're, we're preaching a, a, a gospel that you don't have to repent. Right. And I'm not saying live in condemn, condemnation, but as we've talked, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Every day we make the choice to live hum, humble and right. live repentant right. before the Lord. Yes. Even in random things, random conversations, and there, there are times that I walk away from, and I'm like, Lord, there has I am to be, sorry. There has to be a true encounter to, for that change, you know, of heart. And, and in this era of life and this decade, there again, going back to last week a little bit, there's so many devices and distractions yes, and yes. things that pull on the pleasure. Uh, and, and the scripture tells us that Sin in the last days that, that men, men would be lovers, lovers of, pleasure, of pleasure more, more than lovers of God. What makes me feel good? What makes me comfortable? <laughs> what what do I enjoy to be a part of? Mm. You know, and back when I was a child and, and generations before that, um, it wasn't a question of going to church. It wasn't a question if, if revival was in the community, everybody was a part of it. There wasn't as many distractions to right. pull the attention away. And, and the word that went forth brought conviction. You know, it was, it, was a, it was a word. I remember a lot of Sunday nights here in heaven or hell. Yeah. You don't even hear those words not anymore. Very much. I mean you might hear about heaven every once in a while. Hell you rarely hear about Well it's not a it's not a seeker friendly gospel. It's not, but it's reality. <laughs> it is reality. It's reality. There's a heaven, there's a hell. Uh, and we used to say it, there's a heaven to gain, there's and a hell, hell to, to shun. shun. That is our message. That's the message of this gospel that he made a way of escape from that place for you mm. and for your family. And uh, the Bible says where the fire is not quenched and the, and the worm, worm dieth not, which mind. means your mind. You've heard the, the, the phrase bookworm. That means that your mind, that the many times that you set maybe in a uh, service, hopefully you've set in a service that, that there was the convicting power of the Holy Ghost. Um, and that's why we need some of those messages again. Yeah, for the uh, not, to, you know, not condemnation. Not There's condemnation, a but I was thankful for that convicting power that scared me that put hell a reverence out that of put you. a yeah scared scared the hell out of us. You know what I mean? I mean that's the Literally. truth. Because I remember driving home after those services or going to my friend's house, and I remember you know hearing about the the moon turning to blood and and yeah, it would well, turn a different color it. and I'd think oh Lord this is this it you is know it. this is it we're we're rapture bound here, 
And I just and I would pray. I'd pray, Lord, if there's anything in my heart that's not right, you know, make, <laughs> making sure, just making sure. <laughs> yeah. But you don't have that anymore. No. You don't have that. No. And he said, I will come when you least expect it. Oh, boy. You know, oh in a boy. twinkling of an eye, I will come. Like the, as, as, as your eye night. blinks, it'll yes. be that quick that he returns. And the, the, the real question that's the most important thing that we could present to you today is, are you ready for <laughs> that day? Are you ready Boy. for that day when he is to come back for his bride? Because that is truly the most important decision that you will ever yes. make in this life. That's right. Life will tell you otherwise. Yeah. People will tell People. you otherwise. But this life is sinking sand. It's but a vapor. It's a vapor. It's sinking sand. You build for this life, you will see that you will lose uh, uh, life. You will yes. lose your life if you try to gain it here. Come but on. if you'll lose your life here, you will gain it above, far beyond anything you could think, ask, or imagine. What He's predestined for you, what He's assigned for you. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, it's not entered into the heart of man, the, the things, things that God that has, has prepared, prepared for those who love Him. But I will say that in this time, I, I will say those who are in tune, mm -hmm. I've seen a depth yeah. that I've never seen. Yes. I've never seen well, some of the dimensions. Well, there's a heaven coming to earth. Heaven's coming to earth, the holy city. The ho well, and so here's, and that that's what's amazing is that I feel like we lived in a generation that it was, you know, suffer, mm -hmm. suffer here, we'll, we'll experience peace and joy right. in the Holy Ghost when we get there. Right. And the Lord, you know, wants us to, yes, work for the eternal. Right. But there is a moment of experiencing Him here. And you said, scare hell out of me mm -hmm. and not, you know, there's a difference. I've heard people say, you know, I was scared out of hell. Mm -hmm. You know, they tried to scare me out of hell. And it's not so much that, you know, we're trying, wow, it, we're good. living in a day mm -hmm. that we're not, you know, just trying to, keep you out of the realm of hell. We're trying to keep hell out of you. Right, right. And our scripture reading for the day is Exodus 13 through 16. And a people came out of Egypt. And wow. here's the facts. Uh, there are people setting in sanctuaries when normal is going on that, you know, they may have escaped the flame, but they gonna enter with the smell of smoke on them because right. it's in them. Right. And the Lord, that's what we have to do, trying to get, not get us out of it. Right. Get, get it, it out, out of, of us. us. Right. They came out that's of Egypt. That's the struggle. Egypt. That yes. is the struggle. Mm -hmm. And we're, that's not just your struggle. It's our struggle too. And that's where the choice. Well, and you look at people in prison who are more free than who people are, who are. And we've seen it. In, in, a, in a place of liberation. We, or, we uh, walked down death row of Angola. Uh, prison mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and death row. And I'm talking about these men did some very vicious, right. vile Murderers. Crime. Murderers yeah, yeah. of the worst kind. Mm -hmm. Like not just I'm going to get angry and shoot you. I'm talking like premeditated, icky murder. The stories were like, I think I'm pretty sure I didn't sleep for a couple nights oh, after. Yes. But here, this was the part that our carnal mind can't really comprehend this. And, and I'm talking about vile, nasty, the worst of the worst that you could imagine. Um, predator, murders, premeditated. And they have such peace. And, and uh, we were there with the Brooklyn Tab Mm -hmm. And watching them get out and saying, this is how it feels to be free. Yeah, absolutely. This is what it means to know that I've been forgiven. And watching. Locked behind bars. Locked behind bars. And they're free. just weeping and they're free with their Strong's Concordance and their Bibles. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you might be put in a special kind of hell mm -hmm. to get hell out of mm, you. That's good. Um, but I, I wanted to share about, I don't, we got way, we went way left. We're, but it was, that's a good message. Yes, it is. And it's not preached all across um, in church platforms. Right. 
we don't always uh, hone in and beat, beat that message, but the truth of the matter is that's the facts. That's the facts. That's the facts. Mm -hmm. And there is an eternity that we all will spend somewhere. somewhere yes. You don't just sleep when you die. That's right. That's you right. will either live in the presence of God Almighty or you will live in the presence of torment. Yes. Period. Yes. So the children of Israel came out of Egypt at the Red Sea. We know the story mm -hmm. as it goes. We watch Pharaoh and his army drowned in the Red Sea. Right. Miriam grabs her tambourine mm -hmm. and actually Miriam, the prophetess, mm -hmm. she was a prophetess mm -hmm. and the sister of Aaron, took her timbrel in her hand and all the women after her with their timbrels and they begin to dance and they begin to sing unto the Lord, uh, sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider has been thrown into the sea. Have you ever had a victory? Like that's, listen, I can't imagine our first Sunday back here oh at Restoring goodness. Hope Church. Listen, if, that's you, so powerful. if you ain't from Tennessee, that would be a Sunday to be here. I promise you when these doors can officially be opened. Woo! But a great victory, okay? So we, we've we come, and, and nothing, at every point, yeah. at every point, oh my God, did you bring us out here to die? Did you do this? Did you? And then God makes a way. Mm -hmm. Did you do, Moses, you brought it, and then God makes a way. So we see Miriam, the prophetess, grab her tambourine. They begin to sing and dance. I'm talking about... These enemies that have been tormenting you, you will see, see them, them no more. No more. And there's nothing like watching your enemies drown that will make you shout. A spirit. That will make you dance. A spirit. And listen, yes, and it's, I'm talking about a spirit, not an individual. Because the vengeance is the Lord's. Right. We don't have, that's the greatest freedom. Yes. Vengeance is the Lord's. When you've been in a season of fear and you come out of that Ooh. season, there's nothing like that that will give you a shout and give you a praise. A victory. And sometimes you'll see it before you see it. <laughs> and so you can give that praise in advance. Wow. You know, that midway praise that we talk about. You did that. Uh, it, it'll be two weeks this yeah, coming Wednesday. Yeah, I don't know what happened. You did Spirit. that. But, but you know but what? The Lord knew listen, here's the we thing. needed that victory shout. But can shout. you imagine what it was like then? And 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 that you had to be able to, to ex I mean, you saw the Spirit of God moving the waters back for you, creating a way of escape for you, coming out of that. You know that that spirit, the spirit of the Lord, he was still there among them. Can you imagine what was coming out of those oh people? Oh my God. Prophetic sounds and what we just talked well, about. Well, all that. of their cries. Mm -hmm. And that's a thing. The Lord told Moses, I have heard their cry. Cry, yeah. And so their, their anguish and their cry has turned to victorious Cries of victory. praise. Cries of triumph, yeah. And so just just stay with me. Shouting victoriously, okay? And then they come to another place mm -hmm. of bitter water. Mm -hmm. And Dominic Herps, he is a powerful Phenomenal. man of God. Yeah. He um he he Councils. He ministers to some of the greatest of the greats. Ministers, uh, you know, NFL players. Like he, he's a man of integrity and a God-fearing man. And he was here preaching years ago, and he preached this. And it says that when Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea, they went out into the wilderness of Shur. Mm. And as they went three days in the wilderness and found no water, mm -hmm. now when they came to Mara, they could not drink the waters of Mara, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of the place was called Mara, M-A-R-A-H. And the people complained against Moses, saying, what shall we drink? Basically... Oh, so you now now we're here. We crossed the Red Sea. We watched our enemies be drowned. And now there's not even, we're parched. 
we are dry and we are thirsty and we can't even drink the water that's here. You have brought us out here to die, Moses. Right. And Moses cried unto the Lord and the Lord showed him a tree and told him, put it in and sweeten these waters. Mm. And Dominic preached a word and he said, I perceive that when they got to the water, that they were seeing the reflection of their soul. What was inside. What was inside. Mm -hmm. The bitterness. Bitter waters. The bitter waters of Mara mm. sometimes are in us. And mm. it's hard to see that we just came through a victory. My goodness. Because we're bitter of soul. And, and all of a sudden God sweetens it. And he cried to the Lord and the Lord showed him a tree and these waters were made sweet and he made a, an ordinance for them. And there he tested them. Mm -hmm. And he said, now listen, this is, this is a word for somebody. If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statues. I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord who heals mm. you. you. Mm. He is the Lord who heals you. So we've just come from a, a reflection of a bitter water. Right, right. And he's saying, don't get caught up. But the tree has sweetened the, the tree has sweetened, sweetened the water. <laughs> the tree has sweetened the water. Healing's available because of the tree. Deliverance is available because oh. they were already de delivered from, from the land, from the place. But, it's got but it was inside it. the it was bitter in waters. Them. And that's so much, so many people. Where we live sometimes. So many people face those bitter waters and sometimes those are so hard to overcome. Absolutely. Because I think you can e even almost hide behind those. Well, it's easy to call out open sin. Mm -hmm. well, let's just say it. Mm -hmm. Lesbianism. Right. Homosexuality, um, fornication, like the things that you know, are, are evident, right, right. you know, cursing, the drinking, the things, oh, I saw it with my natural eye. But a multitude of people can come in the church house, can get up and preach a word uh, and sing on the worship, whatever, and be so bitter in soul. Mm. And that's where the, the critical spirit that we talked about, right, that right. lukewarmness, comes that's from that. how comes it from that settles. Wound, comes from that hurt. Yes. Comes from the disappointment, the rejection, the betrayal. It comes from that place. And so you well, have having to, a victory and then being met with opposition, but that's life. He's the God who heals. He is the God who Heals. And you have to let him into those places. You, I mean, your testimony is so powerful that speaks to that. Uh, and I know that we don't have time to go there, but that is the epitome because you have to crack the seal on that yeah. place and let God in. <laughs> you have to let him in that place well, and so in order for him to get what he accomplished on that tree. We're talking generations, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay? And we're talking about Egyptians murdering. Right. Who knows what these people really went through? Right. Who knows the, the, the slave mentality of their mind and all of a sudden having a taste of freedom and the, and the, the not scar, knowing what to do with and the it. scars on their bodies. Yeah. But yet even deeper scars in their soul. Mm, that's good. Yeah. And so I, I don't today listen. But he's the God. This is Monday and this is heavy he's for Monday. He's the God. He's the God who heals. That's what He's the God who heals. He is the God who heals. Listen, Jesus was beaten. He was rejected. He was wounded. He was left. All of the things, there, there is nothing that you're going through today that he did not experience. Yes. He, in fact, felt it all and he carried it. He carried it. He went to hell so you don't have to. That's right. That's right. He took the keys mm -hmm. to set you free. It's such a picture 
of what we experience in Christ Jesus. But I don't want you to miss the now victory. Yeah, yeah. The continual victory. Well, that's easy for you to say. You don't go anything. You have no idea. Right. You have no idea. Yeah. Listen, but there is a place in Christ Jesus of truly learning the power of casting your burden on the Lord and leaving it there yeah. and know that he'll handle this. He'll handle every Pharaoh that is on my heels. He'll handle every accusation. Yes. I, I mean, I'm talking like real stuff. I don't know what you're going through, but here's what I can tell you today that we sit here mm -hmm. victorious only in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. It's not because everything's perfect in our life. It's not because accusations aren't being made. It's not because we've never sinned or fallen short of the glory. It is absolutely the fact that we are sinners, yet we're saved, saved by, by grace. grace. Yeah. It is absolutely the fact that His vengeance is far greater than anything that I would wish on an enemy. And at the end of the day, my enemies are not people in, yes. in fleshly skin, yes. it is spirits yeah. and it's principalities of darkness. And there is nothing, um, I, I remember I wanted to be angry a couple, a couple of weeks ago. I wanted, I wanted to be angry. Mm -hmm. Can I just tell it? I mean, I guess we're free from it, right? Sure. <laughs> um, there, there was, Why not? you know, February 17th, I probably should call my lawyer before I say this. <laughs> um, the prophet, and, and I have documentation on 212 that um, we picked this up in the spirit, got it written down, mm. um, that there was, there was a false watcher, false support, and false accusation was coming and twisting of truth. And then the prophet called on the 17th and said, listen, there's um, this, uh, this gender, mm -hmm. a legal document is being signed and a false accusation against you and your husband mm -hmm. and it involves your children. Mm. And so we just went to prayer. We didn't know, you know, I, I don't know that I knew specifics, but right. we went to prayer and we fasted and we, hurled it mm -hmm. on the Lord yes. and trusted that if this were to come to our door and, and absolutely come, that he would handle it. Mm -hmm. Well, it did in fact come to our door. Um, child services, somebody reported uh, Pastor Aaron and myself as um, being unfit parents and psychologically uh, and mentally abusing our children. Um, accusation that I'm an avid drug user. Um, and honestly, at first I laughed and I was like 25 years ago, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Um, but we were drug tested in our own home. Um, we had to provide character witness. They interviewed all of our children, interviewed us, searched our home. Uh, but within 24 hours, the, that's why the plot of the enemy will never supersede the plan of God. Right. And in that time, you know what? We prayed. Um, I began to talk to the, the sweet little caseworker about the Lord and yeah. about where, uh, you know, her relationship with the Lord. Don't ever waste the trial. Yeah, yeah. Don't waste the trial. Yeah. And, don't waste uh, the step. Don't waste it. Don't Amen. waste it away. But I remember... Um, before they, and literally within 24 hours, we were completely cleared of the accusations and the case was closed. But I remember laying in our bedroom floor mm -hmm. and you came over, you said, are you okay? And I said, yep. And I began to, God protect mm. the persecution, protect the persecutor, whoever is persecuting us, whoever's accusing us, bless them. Mm. Show them the truth of your love because there is a bitterness in soul within them that has nothing to do with me. Right. They're, they're looking in a, in a reservoir, a water place, and they're seeing the reflection of their soul. Right, right. It had nothing to do with me. And there is no greater power than when you can pray for an enemy. 
that's risen against you. Amen. And that has been a long process of growth. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it didn't Trust me. that kind of peace doesn't come overnight. There's a process. The Bible says tribulations works, works patience. patience. Patience, experience, and experience brings hope. about hope. And, and truly, when that, it, when that situation literally walked up on our doorstep and into our house, yep. it wasn't in us. It wasn't, it wasn't in, in us. In it, us. Didn't, it didn't get in it us. It didn't get in us. There was a peace and an assurance because we know the God that's brought us through all of this. <laughs> He'll and get so us this that. is nothing for him. And honestly, I was like, hey, I didn't say, hey, I'm going to get my lawyer and we're going to do this and that. We, we did after the fact. We called but the our thing lawyer. Is, is, come on in. Come in. There's nothing to hide here. Come look. Come in. Do what you got to do. You know, and, and I can honestly say, because of the preemptive strike, we had already prayed into it. And we a prophetic voice being, yeah. you know, uh, you, you receive that prophet's reward when you accept yes. and you believe. Uh, whoever that mouthpiece is that God uses in those moments, when you have the faith enough to understand that God has His hand on that individual, and there's there's a there's a, there's a relationship mm -hmm. here, so there's a trust there that I mean, this person's pretty much always on. <laughs> well, and, and then so as much that two weeks prior to that, on, on early morning, April fifth, um, you know, the text. Uh, Hey, there's a there is a um, how was it how was the word a breaking and entering spirit, mm -hmm. and she said that there's an alarm sounding. Well, of course we actually I've got that in in notes too. That so it, it wasn't something that I was like you're crazy. It was a confirmation, right? But it caused me to be even alerted, and the night that we were uh, completely acquitted and free of our charges. Um, there, someone broke into our church. Right. Right here, broke in an early Saturday morning and um, very, very cunning and very sly. Walked in the door, got him a cup of coffee and uh, sent out a text for, hey, Let's come, let's clean this place out. And, but the enemy's plots will not prevail over God's plans. And an alert went uh, to one of our employees. He instantly called the cops and the cops uh, caught him in the act. Right. Listen. Nothing taken. So don't. Not one thing taken. Yeah, while it, I can, we're sitting here smiling and we have, we have peace, not because we're not facing things. Mm -hmm. We have peace because we truly have allowed the transformation of the power of God to work in our life. It well, doesn't mean there's not this, moments this of is... crying, but when we cry, mm -hmm. we truly throw it on the Lord. Right. There's a trust. There's a trust. And uh, with that trust uh, behind it is not just the indwelling, which I talked about this mm -hmm. uh, Wednesday night, but it's not just the indwelling that God has given to us through the salvation in the blood, but also the infilling of His Spirit. The infilling. And so that infilling gives us access to those giftings that, that provided a preemptive That's right. picture That's of right. what was going to come that prepared our hearts um, and so that's why we are so keen on, and I, look, I'm, don't be scared of what you need, honestly. No. I, I, this is the truth of the matter. Don't be scared of what you need. So many people are so scared and fearful of the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and they, and I, listen, if I didn't have the power of the Holy Spirit in my life, we I would be a, sit here today. I would be a mess. We could not sit here I today. I would be a mess without it. Well, I wouldn't be I'm here. I'm thankful for the grace and the blood of Jesus, but as you have stated so many times, I've heard you say this, it was the blood of Jesus that saved me, and but it's the Holy Spirit and filling me that has kept me all of this time. You know, in, in the, the newer model vehicles, and we're going to have to go, we could sit here all day. Uh, we want to encourage you mm -hmm. that even in trial, even in pestilence, even in whatever, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't lose heart. Don't allow 
you, you know, you, you've come out of Egypt and Egypt to set in you. Get that bitterness out and understand that He is the Lord who heals you. Amen. He heals you and He will not allow these things to come up on you. If you will heed to His word, listen to His commandments, do as He has asked you to do. There, mm. there, and your walk is not my walk, but this I can assure you. Um, I remember uh, last year, Pastor Parsley, be not conned. Right. Be not conformed to the things of this world. Yeah. And that con, do not be conned. Yes. By the world, mm. but be transformed Formed. by the renewing Newing. of your mind. Right, right. And that's something that we've been talking about because right now, the extended season, you know, for a couple of days, it's great. You can only clean your baseboards so many times. <laughs> you know, it's spring. You have spring cleaned your house <laughs> until your your hands are raw, mm. and washed your hands until literally they're cracking open. Mm. So we're in this extension, and that's where those little things sure. and the enemy's raging. Now, obviously we are very well aware mm -hmm. he's raging, but don't decide to take it up on yourself. And, I, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, the Holy Spirit revealed to me the who and my lawyer's like, do you want to open this case? And do you want to counter press charges and, you know, for defamation of character? And I said, no, I don't because Vengeance is mine, says yeah. the Lord. Yes. And he handles our battle. And the Lord is gracious. Yes. He's not slack. Right. He's not sitting up there going, oh boy, what are we going to do now? No. He is loving and he is kind and he is patient. And there's a grace and a mercy period that I don't have to do anything but continue to trust the Lord. Right. And um, this person will come and apologize and restoration will happen. And that's, that's the beauty and the power of grace. Mm. I don't know why, I don't know why. I don't think there ever has to be a knowing of why when a spiritual battle comes to your door. Yeah. Don't allow Egypt to set up residency in you and you miss the promised land. There was a multitude of people, they continued, they continued to question Moses. They continued to be angry. They got to the place where, you know, manna's fallen from heaven as if that wasn't enough. And, you know, and the rabbles that came in to influence them. And influence. Because they followed basically, uh, and, we, and we have to close, but the, you know, because of the signs and maybe the miracles that they saw and they, and they went with they were intrigued. The children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And but they're they called were, the rabbis. They were intrigued, but they weren't in covenant. Right, right. But here's, here's the truth of the matter. Although they might have influenced, they were influenced because of what was in them. Come on. They, again, they, they, when you have this, your, your situation out of you, you cannot be influenced by the enemy. And so it, and the only we can blame it on the rabbles all day long, but the truth of the matter is you are the reason of what you allow. I was, I was saying, you were talking about, well, and what is in you mm -hmm. defines you mm -hmm. because it'll come out. And the, the blood of Jesus saved me. The Holy Spirit, Spirit has kept has me, kept me. Right. and the newer model vehicles. This is where I was going and then we're going to pray and close. Um, the joy of the Lord is your strength yes, today. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, I know it's Monday and you're, you, you know, you're still just wiping the sleep out of your eyes and looking around going, okay, what's next, Lord? Trust Him. Trust That's him. what's next. Trust you him. get to trust the Lord and you might be waiting on Him, but He's faithful who was promised. The newer vehicles, if I start veering off too far this way or if I veer off this way, or if there's something coming my way that I might not be able to see, my, my car starts, mm, mm, and I'll feel it. I'll feel, that's what the Holy Ghost does. Right. That's the power of the Holy Ghost in dwelling and in feeling you. It notifies you. It alerts you when something's coming that you can't see that you might, it might try to sideswipe you, but it won't hit you without a warning first. Mm, mm. That's what the Holy Ghost does. Yes. And when we open our ear to hear what the Spirit is saying, yes. it might come to your door. Right. But 
you are not like the one. I remember the lady, she goes, you're really taking this well. Like you're really calm. <laughs> we were like, well, we understand the source of this and our God is greater, you know? Yeah. Know that the Holy Ghost wants to be a guide to you. He wants to be a teacher. He wants Leading. to be your helper. Right. We're the doers. Right, and he's the help. And he is the help. But and he can't help if we don't do. And and guess what? It don't mean that when trouble if we don't pray, when trouble help. comes at your door, that means you stop. Yeah. When accusations come, no, you're you're you've got to quit doing. No, you have you press through this and trust the helper. Right. Right. The, and, and a lot of times and I've heard uh Old timers say it this way. Old time <laughs> old -timers. ministers. We are those people. Um, that it's all, and it's because it's in these simple terms of the red light, green light on the red inside light, of green you. Green light. You know, and there's been so many times I've bypassed that stoplight. Yeah. And went around and and did what I, my mind was saying we need to do this or you know, and and uh, sometimes it's yield. Yeah. Sometimes it's sometimes a yield. it's a yield. It's not it's not for yet. Not That's yet. true. That's very true. Not yet. But Pastor, pray us, pray us into a confession, a declaration of allowing our flesh yielding to the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us to truth yes. today. Amen. For this week. Amen. Heavenly Father, God, I, I, you, I just Father. give you the glory and the praise for the opportunity always uh, to uh, put, exemplement your truths in life. And I thank you for those who are watching. I pray that you would bless them today. On this Monday morning, God, I pray that that uh, the start is is right. That we'd have excellence of spirit, as we Thank talked you, about Father. last week. That we'd have that excellent spirit as Daniel, and that we'd be faithful, God, in the midst of all that's uh, that that we are uh, opposed with, and and all the opposition that's coming our way, and all the the things, the enemies, the fiery darts. God, I thank you for mm -hmm. faith. I thank you for the shield that we have thank to quench God. the fiery darts of the, the wicked one. And I just ask, Lord, uh, that as we move forward, uh, and Lord, that as you've given us time to really think on right things, it, yes, you've given us this season to really focus in on you and, and to meditate on you and to pray more and to love our family more and to do the right things and to pour into our family and our children and yes, those who are closest to us. And I, I, I just pray that, that we continue to use that Thank time God. wisely, God, that we um, would use it to benefit your kingdom and help us, Lord Jesus, in this moment to not worry about past things. And Lord, the enemy likes to bring in those familiar past uh, thoughts, experiences, um, to bring about that, that place that maybe uh, we've overcome. He likes to try to bring that back up. Um, but we've already cast it upon the Lord. We've already given it to Him according to 1 Peter 5, 7. When I cast it upon Him, it's once and for all. And so it's already done. So we don't have to, all we have to do is remind the enemy mm -hmm. of what he's already Who accomplished, what he's is. already yes. taken. And so we resist the enemy and he Thank must you. flee Thank from us. God, I pray that if there's anyone that's watching, Lord, and, and maybe they still have that place of bitterness. Maybe they've oh, tucked God. it away uh, real tight back in there and, and maybe they've just operated and went on without any healing. But God, I just pray that you, you bring it up, Lord, not, to, not to be reminded of, but God, that you would bring it up so that there can be healing, healing. so that, that, that your manifested power yeah. of healing could move right now and whatever the pain is and whatever the past is and whatever that hurt may be, I just pray that you would, the God that heals mm -hmm. would heal right now that, that brokenness, uh, heal and cover uh, Lord Jesus and, and Lord a activate that tree to sweeten up Thank those you, bitter Father. streams, Lord, that that river will run and bring life rather than destruction, rather than to bring pain and devastation. But now God, because of the healing power of that tree, yes, Lord, God. that tree that representing your power, that you conquered the curse 
on that tree of bitterness that yes, you conquered God. every serpent that would try to attach itself to us, God, and try to poison our bloodstream. God, oh, I boy. thank you that you've already conquered Cancel it, that it, you've Father. already conquered yes. it. And you've given us the ability, not only have you tied it to the tree, but you've given us the ability to do so as well. Yes, and God. so Lord, I thank you for that authority that's being activated thank right you. now to every person who, who realizes in this moment that yes, it might've been there, but I'm an overcomer I'm through an overcomer. Christ. Thank and you. I will tie this off. What Jesus has already done, I will do it as a representation oh, of what's God. already transpired and what's already been accomplished for me because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, I thank you, Father. We give you the glory. We give you all honor and all praises due to you and for all that you've done for us, what you're doing even now, God, in this process, God, we know there's purpose in the process. We know, Lord Jesus, that you are doing a thing yes, in us you are, God. because you want to do a thing in Through your people us. and to your people. Yes. And, to, and, and we know, Lord, what's coming. Sure. We know what's coming, God, and we're excited, but Lord, we want to be fully prepared yes, and fully God. ready. And we give you the praise for it in Jesus' name, amen. Listen, understand that he is the Lord who heals you. Yes. Emotionally, <laughs> psychologically. Yes. Um, he heals every wound that while you might have the natural scars, you don't have to carry them in the spirit yes, into Lord. this next season of life. And maybe the Lord has taken this time and, and I sense there's almost this, ugh, like mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to think about what I suffered in Egypt or maybe even what you've, what you've put others through. Mm. Um, give it to God. Yes. Give it to Him. Give Him your burden. Give Him those scars mm -hmm. and allow, because as He said, a tree. Yes. A tree changed everything. Yes. That, that old wooden rugged cross represented a tree. It, yes. it, it was a tree. It settled everything mm -hmm. and it has made every bitter place in your soul sweet if you will allow Amen. it. He Amen. is the Lord who heals you. And I pray that you uh, take a breath, discover that, bless those uh, who, who curse you mm -hmm. and those who spitefully use you and those who persecute you. Don't worry mm -hmm. about it. Give it to God today. Amen. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow. Amen.